Good morning. Good morning. We are in the Camino city of Leon in northern Spain and we're off exploring. That we are. And what time is it please? It's the Cracker Sparrows. Again? We love the Cracker Sparrows. We love the Cracker Sparrows. Onwards. Onwards. If you've watched our vlogs in the past, you'll know that we like to arrive in a city about tea time, uh, park up and then go on a, an evening recce, maybe take a few photographs and then get up very early the next morning, normally about daybreak, and go off and explore. And that's exactly what we've done this morning. We're off into the city and we're already passing Camino walkers that are up and off on their next leg towards Santiago. The first thing we've come across is this statue, which seems to be a group of, looks predominantly men, trying to lift. Now it's a, it's a bit like the Spanish flag, but I don't know if it's the Castile Leon flag, but it's red and gold. Maybe we need to research that and see. We found our first evidence of the Camino in the centre of Leon. And here we've got the monk who sat down, resting his weary feet after his pilgrimage walk. He's taking his shoes off. He's got the Camino clamshells on his collar. And he's also, if you can see, got one on his head as well. And it says here, El Peregrino. And the other really interesting thing here is that we've got the joining of two of the Camino routes. So here, We've got the Camino San Salvador, which goes straight forward, and we've got the Camino Frances that goes across to the left. I presume this was all one building it uh, at one stage. Whoever built it must have been drunk. <laughs> because surely that should be the centre with the headstone column. And as you can see from here, it just isn't, and it's playing havoc with my symmetry lines. But there you go. Yeah, where the old meets the modern. And you can see in the city that the old electric scooter and bikes are limited to 20 kilometres an hour. In none of the places we've been to have we seen as much Camino signage as we have here in Leon already. And here's another one in the concrete. New friend, H. New friend. It's, uh, yeah, is it Antoni Ant Antonio Gaudi? I can't remember. He's definitely drawing this though, because you can see it on here. I yeah. wonder if he actually got to see this finished. Because mm. he never got to see his church in Barcelona finished, did he? No, he didn't. <laughs> so, I wonder if he actually got to see this one finished. It's a really fascinating city actually, this architecture is amazing. You've got a mixture of, uh, of ancient reference uh, to Gaudi buildings, to um, more buildings that were built really after the Spanish Civil War. If you've ever been to Madrid, 
and places like that, you'll see that buildings were made or built to make a statement. Eight o'clock and all's well. And this is the Cathedral Square. That's a beautiful cathedral. And that's a Spanish cathedral, a Catholic cathedral of traditional design. Camino workers. Well, there, one you can see with his shell on his back. That's how we know. And more bronze statues. This one's slightly more modern. He's got his guide to lay on book. <laughs> untucked under his arm. <laughs> He's a more modern traveller, is he? More modern traveller. Yeah. yeah. But the little boy's got his rucksack on. <laughs> He's got his small boy with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's pretty accurate, that. The older guy is looking at the magnificent architecture of the cathedral, and the young boy's looking at the shops. <laughs> no doubt, where's a donut? <laughs> How accurate is that nowadays, sometimes? So there we have the Cathedral de Santa de Leon in all its finery, and we're hoping to go inside that later. It'll be the new as usual, no peros. We'll be one in, one out, but never mind, we can cope with that. There's plenty of places to sit and have a coffee while one of us goes in. I think that opens in an hour. That's a wonderful building. To break out into another plaza, there's a market. It looks like a proper fruit market as well. Absolutely smells gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful smell. It's a shame they've not perfected away yet, demonstrated smells on vlogs, but trust me, it's great. Talk about special produce. This stuff is amazing. It's like vegetables on steroid. They're that big. Obviously setting up, but uh... ah, that is the main plaza, Plaza Mayor. Do you remember the Plaza Mayor in Madrid? It reminds yeah. me of Madrid, the way it it's structured. Me, it's very much like Madrid. Yeah. 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 These big I squares guess it's a and bit plazas. More nor northern is Spain, though, isn't it? Mm, it's got its own character, but it's yeah. it's very Madrid esque, yeah, isn't it? It is. And the way it's structured. The thing that's making me smile about this is that this is now just gone eight o'clock and the market traders are just setting up. Yeah. If this had been our local market in Norfolk, it would have been well underway and it would have been set up yeah. from about six o'clock in the morning. Cracker Sparrows age. <laughs> Sparrows, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'll tell you what, you don't get vegetables like these in English markets. They're huge. The size of them is incredible. It's the weather, I guess. The sunshine. Amazing. It's like walking through the smells 
The smells are so good. It's like walking through my granddad's garden when he just freshly turned his vegetables. And you get that really sort of fresh, soily type, fresh vegetable and fruit smell. It likes bringing back a whole host of memories from when I was a kid. Yeah. Size five. <laughs> Must be a child's shoe. Size five, size five shoe pilgrim. <laughs> Still a size five. Still a size five. Fun fact, Leanne got its name from the place where two Roman legions were joined together. Very merry quant. Yeah. Yes. They were the days. reminds me of those old dress patterns that my mum used to buy from the local haberdashers and you'd mark it out and you'd, it'd have the cutting patterns in it and everything like this. It's very, very 70s. You know, de facto you're giving your age away, don't you? I know, yeah, 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 yeah definitely. So you're not a bad old bird for a grandmother though? No, no. I'm liking the very, very quantum. Yeah, very good. Very fashionable. Yeah. I just sat him down for a, a coffee and a tostado. You might wonder why we're always topped up here. Uh, bear in mind, I've seen pictures back in the UK and it seems quite warm. We're still at quite significant altitude in northern Spain. So therefore it brings very cool mornings. So it's, the days start typically about 8 a.m. And you end up with um, jackets, coats, hats, etc. But by two or three o'clock in the afternoon, it's really warmed up and it can be as much as 10 degrees warmer, which is a bit of a temperature variation for a day really. Uh, and then it cools down again in the night and it's all to do with the altitude and where we are um, it's not that it's cold all the time it isn't it just takes a bit of getting going and uh, it's a strange thing actually because it brings that crisp uh, winter sunlight feel in the morning and then by afternoon you've got this feeling of, uh, of as if there's been almost been a season change in the afternoon it's quite good so a bit of spanish breakfast h very nice